accounts. That's live. That's live. And we're good to go. So how are we feeling? Yes. Okay. I didn't mean to jump on here and everybody uh, start throwing baseball at me. But yes, I am very excited that I don't have to talk myself into Mark Vientos this year. Uh, I'm even more excited that the Mets got someone that hit 60 points higher, 70 points higher than uh, in OPS than Pete Alonzo last year. So, yes, the vibes are good at the moment in Mets land. Let's see if they can keep that going a week from now on opening day. Uh, yes, Dirty Dancer. They oh, they <laughs> no more platoon, no more Vogel back. I, I don't have to. I don't have to do this anymore. Uh, how can I look it hook it up with League Pass? I'm not sure. Busy. Yes, Rich. This is the JD Martinez signing stream. Uh, busy. I'm not sure. Um, I think. Right, I know what you mean, but we playback. It should be just whatever your login is. If any, I'll hit a playback. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, they're they're team now. I don't know if we have to send you a special thing, but hopefully someone is able to help you out there. So it's Mensa, it's uh, Benji, and it's Jeremy tonight. They're running a little late. Uh, how we? What are our thoughts on the game tonight? I know the the spirit after the last win in, in Golden State was house money, but now we're actually in it. And how are we feeling, everybody? I agree, Rich. <laughs> yes, but we we don't. I don't want anybody to get hurt anymore. Don't need any more. Don't need any more injuries. Yeah. So, Noah, I, I, I saw the score at halftime, and I saw that Ingram got hurt. So. Ah, oh, dirty dancer, you and Chris. That's your, it's your thing. I know. It's like, I, <laughs> you know, it's the most annoying part, dirty dancer. The, yeah, no. First of all, um, okay. So let me address. First of all, dirty dancer says, "Not gonna. I'm probably paying more attention to the tourney, uh, the tourney. Wow, I phonetically did that. The tourney. Uh, the most annoying thing about graduating college and like having to cut things out. I just I didn't I didn't even fill out a bracket this year. And like a couple of years ago, I was like, I'll just throw a random bracket together and I didn't I didn't watch a second of the, the tournament. So busy, I'll I'll message you privately. And then Noah, um, yeah, but they were down before that. So you're talking about the Pelicans. Yeah, I looked at halftime and I saw there were two of eight from three, and they were down eleven in Orlando. And I think that's just gonna be a thing going forward that we're going to look up in Orlando's at home and we'll see if a team is able to beat them on the road. But Orlando's schedule is very much like, oh, we're home tonight. I guess it's their schedule for their next like month is we're home tonight. So um, any other thoughts? What up, Nemo? Here comes Mr. Mensa, my fellow Mets fan, my fellow Jets fan, wearing, yes, the, wearing the KFS gear. I love it. The old school hat, the old school playoff shirt. I am feeling great about my Jets and my Mets. Uh -huh. But, I mean, we haven't that is played. rare, right? <laughs> we, we have not played a game yet, so I've, I've come off to learn. Off-season champs, baby. That we are the off-season champions. That's right. <laughs> uh, how are we feeling about this game, Mensa? House money? Well, Mr. Yeah. Crockett. Yeah, I want the win, of course, but I, house money. I mean, Orlando's on our tail, so all the wins. Hey, Dave, how we doing? Um, all the wins are great because I don't want to. So, like, want to know a weird alt alternate universe, Mensa? Sure. So we're like, I don't know. We were all watching that Miami Cleveland game last night, right? Yeah. 
And I know as a Knicks fan, I'm like, all right, do I want to jump up to three? Because then you avoid or you don't get to play Orlando. You may have to play a tougher opponent. Not to like discredit Orlando, but you want the young team that hasn't been there yet, right? Yeah, definitely. And with Orlando's schedule, what it is, I know their their opponents get tougher, but they're just like always at home. What if Orlando's the team that jumps to three and then it's Knicks Cavs again four five? Like that's the alternate universe, is that it ends up being Knicks Cavs again. That'd be really fun. That would be interesting. You know, with the I mean, look, the, the Mitchell news is He's just been out forever. So yeah, Benji, Mr. Ritholtz, how are you, sir? What's cooking tonight? Spaghetti and meatballs, courtesy of Mrs. Claudio. Or were you not actually asking what's cooking in like our household and stuff? So. That's been like uh, 2009. You were underwater. I think you said you you used the 2009 <laughs> phrase. Is what happened. Let's leave it at that. Yeah, yeah. Let's it. do that. Let's go with that. <laughs> What it do? Let's get this win. What up, Gizzle? What Gizzle. Up, Rich? Yes. Certified heckler. Mensa, how the hell are you, man? I'm great. I'm time. great. I'm great. Yeah, it's been a while, man. Yeah. Uh, just I reason that took so long is I was trying to put my son to sleep. <laughs> Didn't How's work. How's that son? He's great. How's that he's, going? He's wonderful. Um, He's already wearing six to nine months clothing, and he's um three and a half months. He's like 16-ish weeks. So. Oh, he's a beast. Yeah, he's a giant. Yeah, he's got a shot. <laughs> I love that. Love that. Love that for him. Yeah. That's um. Beautiful. Yeah. But other than that, yeah, just you know, work and rooting for the Knicks. That's really, all it's been for me these past few months. <laughs> work, life, uh, work, family, and the Knicks. Really nice balance. I got it's a good life. Yeah. What else could we ask for, really? <laughs> wins. We could ask for wins, like like we're hoping to get tonight as the game is about to tip off. Really excited to see Jalen Brunson and Hartenstein go up against the best basketball player in the NBA, in my estimation, uh, Nikola Jokic. Deuce McBride gets to start. This should be really fun. I'm I'm looking for an entertaining game tonight. The second best player in the NBA. Behind Jalen Brunson? No, behind Deuce McBride is the second best player in the NBA. Of course. Yes, yes, of course. (laughs) All right. Something to look out for. First possession for an offense, which I think we will be because Jokic can't jump. But he has the quickest hands in, of all time. All right, let's see. We got Deuce on Jamal. Yep, matchups are what you'd expect. So, and good start. That's not what you want. Okay. So, so Jokic is going to come to the level of the screen basically every single time. So, on Brunson especially. So, can we get it into the pocket? Can we find Hartenstein on the roll? And then can we spray from there? Here's the first blitz, right? Oh, they, they might just drive by and get it really? out. Wow. Yeah. We could just hey. do that. We could just do that. There's Jalen Brunson, who, who is MVP the, candidate. Who was in the left corner? Was that Diva? I think it was Deuce. So there's, there's the precious. That's yeah. the, no, it was Diva. No, it was Diva. No, it was, it was Diva the gravity yeah. of course, keeping Porter over the there is why Jalen's able to take that. Get that's that first funny. Step, you heard? You know? If you guys saw Draymond's post game pod where he spoke, DJ posted it um, speaking about Brunson. One thing he said about him is like, most guys, when you blitz them, like, they're going to get off the ball. Brunson just keeps it and then attacks you after. Mm-hmm. Like, he just <laughs> waits for you to clear, and then he go- that's exactly what just happened. Like, he just waited for the blitz to, to, to calm down, and then he went right to the rim. Amazing. Oh, Here we go, Deuce. Deuce. Here we go. Jalen three. Here we go. I uh, had one uh, more. Uh, oh, oh but he gets the rebound. rebound. Yikes. Little, little say, run an offense, run a play. This is their best defender. Oh, ah. yeah. okay. Another oh, okay. Wow. Please be okay. Wow. Please be okay. Please he be was okay. flopping. Andrew. He's okay. just flopping. I, anytime a Nick falls on the ground, I just say a little prayer if that's okay. It's very fair. Man, this has got to be one of the smallest starting lineups in Nick's history. Look at this team. Look it up. Here we go. They forced a lot of turnovers in the first meeting between these teams. Jokic had, what, seven? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was kind of a schedule loss for Denver. But it even was. So, like, the, but the strategy was the strategy. You had to still show up and beat them with a good strategy. But we've seen it already, two turnovers early for Denver. and They're, they're a low turnover team. That's not a finish that you can make, Debo. 
Oh, there's two on the clock, fellas. Either Brunson inbounds and go gets it, or they'll get a deep on the strong side corner. Gosh, oh, that's very go. bad defense. There Holy cow, is that bad defense. Let's go, fellas. Yeah, I man, this Knicks team. My goodness, this Knicks team. <laughs> this is a strike. Ah! Yeah, look, you're gonna you're gonna That's the that's the thing. The Denver Gordon, Nuggets are tall and they're good. So big. Yeah. <laughs> Gordon could Gordon can look right over Josh Hart and then MPJ can just seal Devo, and there's really not much we can do about it. They're giving up like 12 combined inches in those two matchups. There you hit the pocket. Uh, okay, interesting. Oh my god. All right. <laughs> I don't know why iHeart did that. Yeah, that that was questionable. You did the least. pocket. Sean, you need to... one more, right? He's trying to show uh, his uh, former pro protege, or actually the opposite, <laughs> whatever. Jokic was his guy. Good D. Uh, ah, wow. how did he do that? I'll take this matchup. Get out the way. There Great. we go. Yes. Let's, go. Let's go. I think they're going to be able to score in this game. The question is, can we get stops? That is that is the question for sure. It's insane that he never misses that. Ever. 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 Uh, automatic. What do, you do? what do you do with that? All right, score more points than it. <laughs> yeah. Man, I feel nah. like Jamal Jamal Murray is playing very loose defense right now, and that's a shame we didn't take advantage of it. Yeah, Sean, it was an and one from Brunson. And that's not what you want. Should try to stop ball next time. That might be a timeout. Nah, nope. he's telling he called the play out. Oof. Beautiful. Go. There you go. There you go. Absolutely oh. beautiful. Love to see it. 20 yeah, points gonna, in the first four if minutes. They're gonna keep switching Porter. If they're gonna keep switching Porter onto JB, we got it. We gotta keep that in mind. Jeez. Jeez. The Baron Davis of the modern era, right there. Mm, Ooh, a really good comp right there. Except he wins. Well, he plays with Jokic. He does. Yeah. Jokic plays with him. That's also true. Oh yeah! Oh, take it to him, Ah, yeah. What MVP? I'm nobody's backup. That's not good. Ah, uh, that's very that's late. Not Jaylen good, Brunson. JB. Yeah. The score, score says 70 to 10. It's 15 12, Alex. I'm not Sorry. totally sure why he was so far behind the play after Isaiah Hardenstein made a floater. So Jokic kind of pushed. I don't know if Brunson wasn't expecting that, but Jokic pushed the ball up. Well, you got to expect it. There we go. A little delay action. Okay. Okay. No, oh, what? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let's, let's calm down. Okay. All right. right. This is the timeout. The transition defense. What the hell? Yeah. Yep. There it is. Jesus. Jesus. F and Christ. We need a timeout. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Interesting. All right. Well, we got to clean up the transition defense. They're good enough in the half court as it is. Can't be giving up. Yeah. Uh... Also, Isaiah's got to chill a little bit. Yeah. That maybe. Was... Maybe not give the supercomputer for a center <laughs> bad transition defense. Maybe. Maybe we should. Make him think a little bit. You don't like the Hartenstein Durant step back with one leg? Yeah, yeah. We don't want the iron leg jumper. <laughs> 12 to 17. I mean, this is this is the toughest place pretty much in the, in the entire league to play. I don't want to set my expectations for a loss, but, I mean, they've been 
They've been playing really well on the road. Yeah. They this is a house money game. They have two losses since the All-Star break. Like. Last game of a road trip situation in altitude after banking a couple of big wins. So there's, yeah, there's reasons to anticipate. But, you know, I, I, I they look great offensively in this game so far. Yeah. But, I mean, if you're not playing defense against the Joker, you can you can pack it up. Ah Whoa. Whoa, hi, sorry. <laughs> Frank from Patreon is at the game tonight. Does Frank from Patreon live in Denver? Yeah, he lives in Colorado. Yeah, so he, that was not- the joke about before the season that he wanted to send who if RJ had over a 50 effective field goal percentage on the Knicks, he would send whoever uh, bet the over gummies like mm. straight from Colorado. Yeah, Colorado Springs to be specific. Oh, man, look at AB. AB looks ready. He looks ready to take over when he gets in the game. Look at him. I, I continue to root for the um, the New York Pistons. Yes, he's Let's locked Pistons, in, baby. Tell him, Rick. Man, he's wow. Played 30 games with them in 21. How many teams is Harden's diamond on? Drafted Four. to um Houston, played for the Clippers, the Denver Nuggets, and then the New York Knicks. He's only been yeah. in the league six years, so man. That's a lot of te- it's teams. Funny, uh, I, I've, I've it's funny. I've heard Adam Morris say that if the front office made a big mistake letting him go. Yeah. Hartenstein, yeah. Mm. Like they could have had him for. I mean, imagine if the Clippers still Ooh! had him. Oh, he's got, we've, we've got a fifth team in here. He played for the Cleveland Cavaliers, too. Oh, wow. Oh, you're right. Oh, he's he on did. team five at the moment. So they just ran a nice little Spain pick and roll there, and they sold out a bit on the pop from DiVincenzo. Beautiful pass from Brunson. That's one of the better long range passes I've seen him make. 17-14, by the way. That's Scott just keeps, just keeps good, adding wrinkles to his Ah, hands. rebound. Good defense by Dusa. There he is. Jeremy's here. It's Jeremy, Jeremy Cohen. Right, guys. I just oh, that's good. Back, back, back. Good. Yes, sir. Good. And we're tied. Uh, you're welcome, we by go. the way. You're welcome. Thank you. We appreciate wow, it. That's redhead power right there. He comes yes, on. Yes, it is. <laughs> you, you get it, Benji. Oh, I do. I get it. All right. And on that note, I'm going to say toodles. Have a good show, fellas. Thanks, Andrew. Appreciate you holding it down while I'm back. Bye, Andrew. Hey, guys. Hey, everyone. Hey. There. Busy day, but good. That's, that's not a good shot. Oh, they called it a foul. Uh, yes, Jeremy, it's been a very fun game thus far. Okay. Uh, both teams playing very good offense. A couple of transition defensive issues for the Knicks. Um, but they're playing really, really good offense. Yeah, for sure. Hartenstein that's- supremacy is reigning. Yes. Jamal Murray's got it going early too. I think is that's probably his seventh point. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, well, we've been we've been matching them pretty well, and these guys are healthy. That's really good news for the Knicks. No OG Ananobi, no Julius Randle, no Mitchell Robinson. We're through a half a quarter, so let's not get too excited. But we're playing toe to toe with these guys, which is really encouraging. Oh, the precious is in. Probably for Hartenstein, huh? Yeah. yeah. Now that's going to be interesting to watch him against Jokic. Oh, yeah. He, yeah. No Sims minutes, I presume, tonight. No, no. Unless we do Ooh. that end of the first half oh, wow. thing again. Whew. Yeah. Oh. Thread of that needle like crazy. You can really spread them out. You can really spread them out. And the Knicks are getting better at that, especially with this lineup. Yeah. One of the added benefits to, having three Villanova guys in your main rotation is they've been playing together for as long as the San Antonio Spurs oh, back that's... when they had Duncan and Parker. What? And guys. Oh, come on. That's a terrible call. When did they call that? We already had the rebound. What, what is that? It's absurdly late. What? It's a great pass. Oof. 
snatch back. Bleep. Ah. Beautiful. What happened there? MPJ's at the line. That was very odd. This guy's shooting the hell out of the ball right now. In the month of March, he's on fire. What? Yeah, I, don't, I don't understand uh, what happened. And why is he shooting? He was just getting a rebound. How much did Shohei Otani pay for this game to be called like that? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> like, I don't think it was a foul, and I don't think it was definitely not a shooting foul. Yeah, Jokic keeps ending. Oh, that's a tough shot, though. Uh, yeah. Good defense. <clears throat> oh, boy. Oh, more transition defense problems. Get out of here, Reggie Jackson. Woo! Okay, Deuce! Oh, there we Deucey! go. Beautiful. There we go. Yes, sir. Gotta love it. Got to love it. Wow, Brunson's on MPJ so that DiVincenzo can guard Jackson. That's wild. And I don't mind it. Oh, oh DiVincenzo! Oh, there we go. Oh, you kidding me? Yeah, no, no, I think he, he got, got him. He got him. He got him. He had the entire team with a blender just now. <laughs> that was awesome, though. He jumped on his back to try to. <laughs> yeah. Talk about respect. That's skirt. There we go. West Virginia's own. Ooh, Ooh, short. Nicola. <laughs> you talking about Jokic? Yeah. Jeez. 200 games ago? That's... Yeah, two assists <laughs> against Minnesota. Nuggets in a little zone. It felt like a push in the back, but oh, look at that. That's it. Good D. Strong man. Easy. Yeah, they're just bigger than us tonight. You got so you got precious at the five. It's like no one over six eight, and then four guys under six four. <laughs> <laughs> it's extremely small. <laughs> Oh boy! Tough move, Josh. Hey, Josh. That's the one thing about Nikola Jokic; he is not a rim protector. That's right. He's got everything else, but that. Good job by Josh to get him out of there. Hey, you can't do any better. No. Nope. Oh, yeah. gotta get the rebound. Probably do a better job <laughs> rebounding. <laughs> Boxing I don't know out, at least. Yeah, they could try, but like, yeah, that's just... when when basketball yeah, right. doesn't work for Jokic and he goes to play water polo. That's that's just what happens. <laughs> that's when you need Mitchell and then Robinson. actual polo with his horses. Yeah, <laughs> that's when you need Mitchell Robinson as your backup five. Nice, fresh. Man, talk about an embarrassment of riches coming for the Knicks, man. Forty-eight minutes of Hartenstein and Mitchell Robinson. In their what age 25, 26 season? My goodness. Jesus Christ, this team. It's easy for him. It's amazing we're down two. We're scoring the ball. Woo! There we go. Look at this passing. Great look. Jalen Brunson is adding new wrinkles to his game. I thought he oh traveled my gosh. Catch. It's a great move. I thought he traveled off the catch. Yeah, definitely. This is not going to be one of those games where the Knicks hold an opponent to under 100 points. It will. It no. shall not be. No, it is. It is not. Uh, not one of those. But Jokic is very much shadowing. Short. Mm. Brunson's been in this zone recently where no two baskets look the same. 
Like he's not getting it. Like he'll he'll hit you in the in the mid range. He'll get to yeah. um a catch a catch and shoot three and and one. Like all of his all of his baskets right now is just looking different. It's it's really he's really been a joy to watch this past month. Man, yeah, you're just seeing the size differential. There's nothing Precious can do. Nothing. Yeah. Not just the size differential, but the athleticism too. Because mm-hmm. Aaron Gordon, Michael, Michael Porter Jr., even though he's been, you know, a little dainty these days, but they're more athletic than us and they're bigger than us. But we're doing a really good job keeping up, I think. It's amazing what Aaron Gordon has become as a player and how he's adapted to that team. I like. I can't quite get over it, how – good he is on the defensive end and how he's bought in offensively it's just it's got to go down as one of the best trades in history yeah right it, it but this i mean I, I wouldn't say he's the final piece because i feel like the kcp trade was probably oh, so under, underrated yeah but yeah. like the ability to what is this I mean, cr- is, is this the elderly I'm community ter- i am terrified <sighs> oh my oh, oh man uh-uh. I'm going to have nightmares, guys. I'm going to have nightmares. Uh. Sorry, Jeremy. Continue no, 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 no. I'm, I'm just <laughs> as captivated. <laughs> That's his face. I, I don't know what I'm looking at. Like, oh, who, let, like who signed up for this? Oh. <laughs> uh. The Sizzlin' Seniors. Oh, no. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh. I, I just want to know, is this a group that the Nuggets invited? Or is this, like, specifically a Denver <laughs> Nuggets activation? The Denver City Dancers? I hope not. Uh, I mean, good for them. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, just not for anyone else. Can you imagine this at MSG? <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine James Tolan being like, "This is exactly Absolutely what not. we need to sell." Absolutely not. Mm-mm. Not in this town. Ah. Uh-uh. Oh my, that was that was special. If no one breaks a hip, it's a success. That was special. <laughs> Great comment. <sighs> wow, Oakland's gonna beat Kentucky. Well, that's gonna crush. Uh... A lot of brackets, including my own. That's hilarious. It's the best team in Oakland when you think about it. It's the only team in Oakland pretty soon. Gillingham stunk. Thought he's going to be a top five pick. Yeah, I yeah, I don't know about that one anymore. <laughs> he had ten points on two I'm of nine about shooting. Providence's Devin Carter. That's my guy. Wow, good move, oh, bro! You gotta. I mean, I mean, you gotta, you gotta double. <laughs> you can't, you can't just leave Precious there to lit to deal with it. He's. I, I'm not saying boy on to. That's what I was gonna to say. Anything? Don't worry, we'll yeah. send boy on. Like what? What do you mean? Don't worry. <laughs> boy on the stopper. That's a good move, okay, Presh. Yes, yeah, sir. I got the it's floater game working. Back. Just got to hang in. Like, honestly, in the second half, you're not going to – I mean, they're going to try to play Hartenstein with Jokic as much as humanly possible. Oh, it seems he's yeah. suiting up. He's coming in. I was checking in. They really want that size. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm surprised they didn't call a foul. Hey! I'm happy they didn't, but – Look, look at Deuce, look at Deuce. Oh, no. In his bag. Ah! I'm still rooting for him. Of course I'm rooting for him. <laughs> no, you're not. You actually hate everything about that trade at the point where you actively root against him. <laughs> look at this. Here we go. Oh, look, we got the, the rebound. rebound. AB. Give Jokic the tech, too, while we're at it. Good job, my press. Hey, Frost give him guy credit. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right, Alec. 1-4. It's a good foul. That's not a foul. Nah, Jokic moved his arms across. That's not a foul. I like that. It's good defense. (laughs) 
Seven him out. Yeah. Is Cal a good coach? I don't think so. <laughs> Just look at the teams that he like. Look at that 2015 roster that he did not win with. He's won what one? The John Wall team won. That was it. No, the John, they, no, the Anthony Davis team won. Yeah. Right, 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 right. He had we, Carl we, Towns we, and Devin we, Booker. Ah, <laughs> that is so sexy. Please don't make that. Oh, I, I knew it was close. Did you see the buzzer beater earlier today in March Madness? No. Oh, insane. First quarter or first half. I think it was Oregon, South Carolina. Oregon yeah. made a made a crazy South one. Carolina. I think South Carolina hit it. Yeah. Wild shot. Didn't didn't help them. They got schmunked. Kentucky's guards recently outside of Ty Ty have been phenomenal. So I don't know if yeah, it's just they always, they always finding do. great talent and not knowing how to use them. I mean, they, he often doesn't seemingly use them to their strengths. It is a lot of one and done. Although not less now, I guess, but you know, like it's hard. Probably there is challenges to coaching like one year, like it's a new team every year. Um, but he's a great recruiter. Doesn't mean you're a great coach. Mm-hmm. I just want to get to these super chats from our oh! friend Robert W. Cross. Um, oh. Thank you for your contributions. So the first one is, uh, oh, thank God, it's GMAC and not Cutlets. We are very sorry to have let you down on that one. You know right. what actually pleases me quite a bit, Mensa, is the fact that Robert had a long day at the office, and his enjoyment now has to be mitigated because I'm here. So the fact that I ruin his night actually gives me life, and I enjoy that. So thank you, Robert. All right, let's get to the second of three here. He says... <laughs> I hope he eats three gummy bears and misses the next town hall. I think he's talking about our good friend Frank from Patreon. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. I don't know what to do with that comment. <laughs> you guys want to jump in? Nope. <laughs> Absolutely <I'll> not. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, hopefully hopefully, um, Frank enjoys himself at the game tonight. <laughs> hopefully the Knicks win a cha- won, win the championship, win a game. I would love to see it. I would love to see it. Uh, I'm just actually going to read... Uh, his regular comments there. He says, answer the super chats. Then he says, super chats, super chats. And then finally, <laughs> super cats. Love it. Um, and his final super chat here is uh, the Detroit trade is ass and not the good kind. Um, yeah, I mean, it hasn't been great. I will... <laughs> just specify the good kind. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what what is the good kind of ass? We would love to know. Um, yeah. Wow. Uh, Those <laughs> <laughs> Those got progressively uh, more unhinged. <laughs> not the not good kind. The good kind. <laughs> <laughs> Might need that one in the t-shirt. Um, <laughs> well, that's hilarious. You are not the good kind of ass. Though. Oh, man. If I still Bogey don't see how the, how the I'm Knicks just are worse it, off from that trade for whatever it's it, worth. Uh, but nevertheless. Uh, Give me that! Oh my god, he can't right make cue. a shot for us! <laughs> right on cue. Come on, boy on. That was utterly open. Don't jump. Oh. Ah. Okay. We'll love this one. Like, like he's been a 40 to 42% three-point shooter as consistently as anyone in the NBA for the last six, seven years. Gets he's made the like, Knicks. He's and... made like 33% with us. And it's small sample size, so my guess is it's all going to come. But like, that's a can foul. It, can it come? One of my favorite things about Denver is that when they're not that serious, they play DJ, and then when they are serious, they just play Gordon at the five. Like it's a good, it's a good gauge of how serious they're playing. <laughs> is if DJ gets in the game. But uh, back to your uh, your boy on comment. I think he, more than anybody else, will benefit from the arrival of Julius Randle in the I rotation. I get that, man, but he's, it's not like he's not getting looks. Yeah, yeah. How much do we, I agree. How much do we think he's going to also play with Julius? Maybe seven minutes a game, max. I, I, but like, I feel like the time that he would occupy the space is primarily when Julius would be sitting. Like now. I don't see Julius playing a lot of early second yeah. minutes, and I feel like that's where well, Boyan's going. Gonna... Right, because assuming that if they're healthy, I think pre- I think um, OG will will kind of lead mm-hmm. those second units. 
Yeah, unless then you got OG although I can I can envision a situation where OG led units aren't scoring enough and they insert Randall into those scenarios. But for now, I think it'll be for now when they get healthy. I think it'll be OG. Yeah, and then on top of that, I don't see um, how Boyan gets minutes at the three when you have Ananobi and Josh Hart and DiVincenzo and all these guys, especially because Deuce McBride is making himself more and more relevant in the rotation. I think, um, yeah, I think all of his minutes will come primarily. So he has to get his shit together very clearly. That's a good pass. That's a great pass to the wrong guy, but. I don't know what Precious took so long to get it to be. No. The good kind of ass. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, a couple more bad bogey games. That's Robert, Robert yes. Cross gave me a really bad tweet to send about bogey. <laughs> <laughs> that's a oh, hell of a move. Filthy. I need- Jericho Sims is a great kid. I cannot <laughs> wait until he is no longer in our rotation. Uh, yeah, I hear you. I hear you. It's been, a, it's been a little bit of a rough stretch here. Even better cheerleader. I wonder if he's going to shoot this. You wonder if he's going to shoot this ball. One wonders. AB. He's back, boys. He's back. The AB stands for always back. Oh, always back. <laughs> or uh, ass bueno. <laughs> Good kind, baby. Okay. <laughs> oh, thanks, Jessica. Welcome back to Twitter. Uh, the, the greatest place on earth. I'm also very happy that people don't call it X. Everybody's just like, nah, no, 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 no. Dead, no it's we're, Twitter. Good. we're good there, Elon. We're good. <laughs> it's still Twitter, sir. It's uh, His mama named him Twitter. I'm going to call him Twitter. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh. Another hilarious thing. He was a 90% free throw shooter when he arrived. He's shooting like 72% for the line since he got here. Don't know what happened. <laughs> you know what it is? Is when, when all the national media was like universally, pl- you know, giving the Knicks their plaudits, we probably should have known then that it wasn't going to go our way. <laughs> I'm just happy that a first round pick was not exchanged in this trade because then fair. that would yeah. then you feel worse about it, especially the way Gr- the way Grimes has not been healthy and hasn't played well when he is played. Well, at the time, if they had given up a first round pick, I would have been yeah, furious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, know. I know, I know. Don't need to worry about that because they didn't. That is a good thing. Oh, great find! Ooh, wow, TJ still oh, jumping. Man. He's only like thirty. Four thirty-five. He's got lots at least of, thirty-five. Lots of miles. Yeah, yeah. He's been in the league since oh eight. Ab, bro, that could have broken his hip. What? What is that? What exactly is that? I would argue Jamal Murray's killed them more than Jokic has so far. Yes. Can't stop the ball. I'd love to throw OG on him. That would be nice. They, they said DeAndre has been in the league for 15 years. Crazy. Wow. Since, so you, I think he got drafted 35th or 36th <sighs> in 2008. I've no, never don't more reach. Old. <laughs> like, the real tremendous beauty of OG Ananobi is I would feel utterly fantastic about throwing him on Murray right now if I could. Yeah. He is. Listen, I, Hartenstein may be, may be um, the impact metrics favorite guy, but we all know the, the defensive MVP of this team is OG Ananobi. He makes everything go. So he's got pressure at the four now. Mm-hmm. I don't like that. And I also don't really like playing Hartenstein when Jokic isn't in. I feel like yeah, that, it's, it's a, a waste. waste. Of, yeah, definitely a waste of his talent. Like he should be matching minutes. It's very early for him to be in the game. Oh, my goodness. Nice. And he's always asking for fouls, man. You have to actually jump to draw a foul. <laughs> <laughs> you have to work for fouls, sir. This is bad. Ooh. Ooh. I'm very confused by why iHeart's in there, because Jericho was so so bad for a couple positions. Could be. Could also just be that he's going to get 35 he minutes. That's why he's there. You think he's ready for 35? And then, I, mean, I hope so, but. I would have rather finish the quarter with him. I don't know. Oh, Oh, lazy pass, Jamal. And Alec, for God's sake. Charge. Thank you. That's got to be going the next way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Deuce was. 
I thought he might have slid. Did he slide late? That's what Jamal's they're looking charging, for. They're yeah, challenging they're, it. They're going to challenge it. I thought he slid in late. If Alec Burks hadn't been oh, quite God. as careless, then. Alec, for God's sake, man. No. I think he's there. He might have gotten to the spot. But also, maybe it's just simply the matter of contact, but the way Murray goes into him. These have been some of the like most Alex Burks himself. group of minutes I've ever experienced. Made a three, got to the line, two turnovers, just exceptional. Look at him. Oh, hell yes. Yeah, the best. Locked in now. <laughs> <laughs> the best there ever was. <laughs> After he retires, he has a um, job in narration for movies. Mm -hmm. He should do audiobooks. <laughs> he could he could replace Morgan Freeman as like the standard narrator. <laughs> Bill Kennedy's life as um as a referee, uh, <laughs> four part audiobook series. <laughs> it's amazing how movies used to constantly be like the in a world or some sort of narration, and now. You just don't hear narration. I, I think it speaks to the attention span of human beings these days. Mm -hmm. Nobody has time for that shit. <laughs> no. Just get to the movie. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> they got, uh, it's, <laughs> these, these, these places, like, they, they, where did they get these tires from? Like, it's like, I don't know. It's like playing night activities. To land? It's, like, it's like night activities at summer camp. That's what this is. What do you what is the <laughs> goal of this? They're not even the same size tires. It's just it's it's total disaster. Is it's supposed to be half court? You're supposed to roll it to half court? <laughs> yeah, I think it, it looks like you gotta roll it to the logo. <laughs> wow, the guy's got touch. Good for that kid. Denver's if I were the guy that won, I'd never roll a tire again. Denver's a wild Call that place. retired. Oh! <laughs> He's on fire, guys. Just He's saying. on fire, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, so he's actually resting Josh Hart a little bit tonight. That's nice to see. Deuce McBride, on the other hand. Deuce has the young legs. Yeah, he's that's, there. Oh, that's a charge. And he, and he, a kick. Yeah. A kick. Yes, oh, sir. look at the head shake. Look at the head shake. <laughs> Damn, just call. Yes, sir. Bill. Talk to him, Bill. Ooh. It's a great play by Deuce. Gets there. Eh. It's not. I don't think it was it, as obviously a charge. I think there was a little movement, but. I also, think Jamal launched himself completely yeah. into Deuce. Totally. He wasn't even trying to get a layup. <laughs> Weak side, Deuce. Man, Precious, you got to be able to post that, buddy. You got the switch. Great pass. Yes. Nope. Yeah! Ooh, all right. Three point foul. We'll take it. Time oh to get God. two out of three, Alec. <laughs> <laughs> These Berks minutes are so classic. <laughs> two He's out of three, wild man. and wacky. It's, uh, the guy is so goofy. He's the goofiest basketball player. I feel like he's rounding into shape, though, at least tonight. This feels like no, a he's good been, Alec Burks. I, oh honestly, my, what the it, hell is that guy's hair? I'm sorry. That the was dude next to, with the with the blonde mullet. Yeah. Next to Monica. Yeah. Strange. <laughs> also, can we just acknowledge how wild it is that right now on the court is Alec Burks, Boyan Bogdanovich, DeAndre Jordan, and Justin Holiday? What in the like 2014 are we doing? Yeah. Right now? <laughs> yeah. Man. Those guys were in their prime when shirt jerseys were a thing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad we no longer have shirt jerseys. That a boy, Alec Burks. Yeah, I'm glad Josh Hart's taking it easy. Deserves it. Busy, you think, because it's a short guy's asking for a friend. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. She's a former <laughs> uh, D1 basketball player, so 
Maybe not, but <laughs> you never know. Who did she play? She played for Georgetown. Mm-hmm. Whoa! Good pass. That was a sweet pass. Oh, no. Mm. We got a rebound. We got two bigs on the floor. She likes short guys as much as Tibbs. Well, Tibbs is starting a bunch of short guys tonight. So Tibbs, Tibbs is changing. Where there's a will, Before there's a way. Eyes. Tibbs AI is um, evolving right before, yes. right before our eyes. Ladies That's and gentlemen. it. Here they come the match cavalry. Cavalry is coming back. All right. Oh, good. Deuce gets a little breather. I like it. I mean, Alec Burke's playing well. Oh, wait. Never mind. Looks like Alec Burke. Oh, nope. Pressure just came out. Okay. Yep. I like it, too. Look, I would say last three games, in all seriousness, both Pistons guys, although it's been very far from perfect, have shown signs of what we need from them. There have been some very frustrating moments in all those games, but there's it's the the just like the little scoring punch off the bench has been a lot better. Oh what come on! What call? You know what it feels like? It's like um. It feels like asking someone who runs the 200 meter dash or 100 meter dash to run a marathon or a half marathon or even a 10K. It's just not their game. That's not what they're supposed to do. Who's that? your game. Like in terms of uh, the expectations of Boyan and Burks. Oh. Yeah, but. I, Granted, I, I'm not saying they're gold medal winners at the 100 meter dash. Like they're probably distant fourth or fifth. <laughs> But, but it's, just, it's a different game. It's a different thing. Yeah, much different. <clears throat> so we got Hartenstein, the Pistons, JB, and Josh Hart. <laughs> He's really looking for a call, guys. He's really looking for a call. <laughs> he should be looking for a game. <laughs> And steroids. <laughs> Washed uncle. <laughs> Washed All right, Bogey. Basketball game. Thank you for that contribution. Oh, goodness me. This is the first time I can remember him taking out Bogey before Burks. Now isn't no two nice. baskets look the same. It's just lovely. Just utterly amazing balance. For him to like be what top five in paint scoring in the entire league is ridiculous. Not so. That's a nice looking action. Ooh. There we go, boys. Woo. Interesting. I live. I don't with mind it. it. I don't uh, mind it. Yeah. Now when he shoots it, I don't mind any Jalen Brunson shots. If I'm being honest. All right. Can we get out of this while the game is going? Thank you. Ooh. Got him. Mm. Yeah, DiVincenzo sometimes gets a little um overzealous. Yeah. He's having one of those games tonight. Two on the ball, hit the pocket. That's it. Good pass. Look okay. at this. He's taking it okay. to him. Okay, opposite shoulder hook. I, I Bro, love it. he's taking it to him with a right-hand jumper. Yeah, he, Jump he takes Oh, active hands. He takes the Bizarro Jokic comparisons very seriously, it seems. Are we sure that Jokic isn't just White Hartenstein? White Hartenstein. Like, <laughs> like White Iverson? Yeah. White Hartenstein. I love it. It's like Superman and Shazam. Mm -hmm. Mike Below gets so upset. It's very funny. <laughs> Yeah, that's a travel, my friend. <laughs> that is most certainly a travel. <laughs> yeah. Here we go, a little gut Chicago action. That little down screen, and then JB's going to come off and pin down. Here he comes around the other way. Love it. Hit the pocket. Okay. Oh, cool. right. one. I just want to say. I'm going to agenda so hard on Twitter if Jalen Brunson can beat the Nuggets without Julius Randle, but Anthony Edwards couldn't do it without Cat. I'm going to agenda so, 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 so hard. You have no idea. Like, I'm I'm already – I already have the tweets in the mental drafts. It's, it's going to be nasty. 
I'm actually about to tweet that the agenda is on its way. Ugh. Alex is telling us that Robert Cross has more to say on the Super Chats. Give me one second. I'll jump right over to him. Tonight's shot is worth $200. That's it? Robert Cross has more Super Chats. Yes! That's all right. To you, buddy. Yeah, yeah. This is... I will do the honors. What happened to the seniors? <laughs> you want them back? Yeah. Look at this. She wants the seniors back. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Listen, I have my preferences. This is just super it's just, cats. It's just bad entertainment. I, I like. I, these 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 chicks are just jumping up and down. This guy's airballing backward shots. What am I what am I watching? Did you guys all hear DJ's story about about how he once upon a time as a young lad did the um like he was at a Knicks game and did a f- uh, did like one of those interme- intermission games and embarrassed himself and his father. <laughs> He tells us like he told the story on one of these uh these watch alongs and it was boy oh boy. I, you guys gotta get that story out of him one day. Wait, what's the story? What did he do? And embarrass his father? Like he brought shame to his family kind of thing, or like his dad was active and in... his pants fell down as he was doing one of the the things. It was <laughs> which things? What a, you know, like on the intermission where like they have a fan come out and like yeah. this, so like he was blindfolded and they wrapped and they like spun him around a couple times. Where was it? His, his, like in the nineties, like ninety nine. It was in MSG. At MSG, yes. Okay, yeah. Uh... Yes. You gotta you gotta hear the story from Deej. But long story short, um, he didn't have like his pants were too big and he didn't have a belt. So when they blindfolded him and spun him around, his pants started to fall down, and it was just it was hell. Um. I don't want to relive it for him, and I'm pretty sure he tells the story way better than I do. But when he told me the story, like I, I felt the secondhand embarrassment from 25 years in the future. So and the shame to his I'm, family. I'm glad yeah. for his sake that he did not do it in the social media era. Yes, oh. yes, 100. Oh. percent Someone's got to find that video. <laughs> I am going to jump into the super chat for my guy, Robert Cross. Says you can't ruin my night because Whoa! I am heading. Yo, oh, did you see that pass? Wow, that was well, insane. Sorry, Rob. We're gonna have to get back to the game. <laughs> we are. What playing. was that? What in tarnation? Oh my lord! Whip. Oh, I uh, a little short. Uh, I heart. Don't go for that if you can't get it. Oh, he traveled. Traveled. <sighs> That's fine. Oh, no, Uh, guys. Oh, it's bad. Time out. (laughs) All right, let's read these super chats. (laughs) Super cats. Watch this. Whip! Goodness me. Sorry, go ahead. All right, Robert Cross, Robert Cross says, You can't ruin my night because I am getting dark chicken tenders, mac and cheese, and sweet tea. Also, got back-to-back X-Men cutlets. Um, and then he says, Who is your favorite X-Men? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not really an X-Men guy. Storm. Uh, yeah, Storm's great. Uh, Cyclops. It's awesome. I used to always play with Cyclops and uh, Marvel versus Capcom, so I have to go with him. I'll say Magneto, because sure. Xavier and McDaniel. That's a great answer. <laughs> that was an unfortunate little run they went on there. For no good reason. So where do you guys want to be seating wise? 
seating. Um, give me the. I want. I want to get as high as uh at two if possible, but if not three. And it's not even that I just don't want to be in the Boston bracket. I just I like the idea of being able to host two playoff series. So that's why the two seed means a means enough to me that I that I want to go for that. I like it. Uh I'll say the three seed. I mean, obviously I'd prefer the two. Of course, for that exact reason. But wow. Oh. No two, two baskets right look the same. That was a very There's tight There's something speech. to be said, though, if you finish with the four seed, that you completely avoid, in all likelihood, the Sixers, which I'm not losing sleep over the Sixers, but it's nice to not have to worry at all about Yeah, worry them. about game. Let's well, travel! Guys, nice. come on! Hold on. Live with travel it. once in a while. He walked. Um. Yeah. Wow, that's very deep. Overzealous DiVincenzo night. What are the chances that like Embiid looks like Embiid by game one of the playoffs? Two percent. Like really slim, I think. But even the attention that he'd command. For sure. Oh, come on. Not feeling that call. It's a little too deep on the catch. That's no foul there. Yeah, that's just basketball. This has been a very poorly officiated first half. What fell? Um, yeah, that's that's one where you got to do your work before the catch. Once he catches that deep, it's not happening. The next challenging this? <clears throat> I guess they are. That would be a waste of a challenge. Well, Unless how many does Hartenstein have? Yeah, at the that's moment? what I was about to say. Yeah. I think he might have it might have been his third. Let's see. Nope, it's not a foul thing. Oh, it's a blood thing. It's not, uh, it's not, it's not they didn't challenge. That's his first? Jeez. Hartenstein leads all scores. Well, leads all Knicks with 13 points. 13, 5, and 2 for Hartenstein. Jalen Brunson with 12 and 7 in the first half. Really love to see what Jalen Brunson has become, has become um, in recent weeks as a passer. He's just taking it to a new level. Makes him a lot harder to guard. This has been one of my favorite passing halves of his of that I've seen because he's made some, of the, made some of the live dribble cross court ones you don't see very often from him. He's seeing the floor really well. So no, uh, no pyramid scheme assists. No, it's been legit. I mean, some in the pocket pass, but the, the, the pocket pass has been nice. There's a little floppy action for Jalen. Where's the call? Good rebound. I thought he initiated. I wouldn't have called that, but, you know, I'd like a little pass. consistency. Go up and go. finish. Atta boy, go. Trash. Mm. They're scoring just fine. Honestly, I mean, the defense hasn't been bad. Is... So why take out Hartenstein, though, if that was his first foul? I, I think it's just a minutes restriction. Yeah, yeah, what I'm saying, though, consecutive minutes. it's weird to match to your point, Benji, of matching them up. Yeah, unless they don't, unless there's a consecutive minutes element to it. I like think they I don't want him to play the first full quarter, which is very possible. But then know. stagger it made, yeah, to end the half in a, or in a way. And that that would have made... Um... Right, but then you would have had to bring him out earlier yeah, in the first quarter. Right. So I don't know. I just don't know what the parameters are. So it's hard for me to. Yeah. Tough. Dude! How this kid? His shooting is crazy. Man. Apparently, Demar Derozan and Dylan no. Brooks. Ah, oh, no. come on! You said it, Mensa. Say it again. What did I say? I don't remember. Over anxious Devo. Whatever. Oh yeah, there we go. Overzealous Devo. Overzealous gambling. <laughs> I blanked out for a second. Gambling for a yeah. terrible steal there on Jokic. Just, you can't do that. This has not been a good DiVincenzo half. No. Ooh. McBride in the pocket. Mm -hmm. You got to find Jalen. Uh -oh. oh, my. <laughs> That's not what we want. Josh. And Josh oh. Hart. Cornerback Josh Hart. For sure could have been a cornerback. Yeah, looking like Deontay Burnett out there. Super athlete. And he's a Maryland guy. A lot of Maryland guys play football, so. That's a good job. Staying all the way up. He 
Got to double off someone, but there's no one to double off of. It's got to be Josh KCP Hart. KCP wide open. Yeah, he had options there. <sighs> Not the guy you want to leave. He's hard to double. That's why people don't do it. <laughs> It'll tear you apart. This is similar in a way to the uh, – which game was that? The Kings game. Where every time Hartenstein came out, it felt like they couldn't get stops. All right, just leave yeah, just... less than five. Or be down by less than five. Whoa. That oh was a nor- that was so casual. Oh my god. Two for one. Attack, Jalen. Yeah, I think he gets two right here. There yeah. Oh my goodness. Too easy. He just All right. gave him a faint, faint, faint stutter move and are they going to try to two two for one him? It's not making much progress. Running there, start. <laughs> no. Yeah, just slow it down. Yeah, Deuce. Just don't lose anybody. Come <laughs> on. I'm telling you, when basketball does not work, he goes to play water polo. It's true. It's a great call. Go. Go. Foul. Uh-oh. There's the water polo. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> you tell me Jalen didn't get hit on the arm there? Yeah, he's saying it. He got hit on the arm. Yeah. I feel like the biggest difference there was the lack of Hartenstein. Yeah, that's it's the same. it was very similar in Sacramento, and then in the second half they'll push his minutes a little bit, and mm-hmm. it'll be less. But it, that it was very similar first half in that way. Like they just looked. What was I hard on the night? What's he so far? He's no, he's minus one. Huh. Burks, Burks and Bogey. and Boyan. <laughs> uh, plus, but it didn't feel like they could get stops without him. Okay, Alec Burks, nine points, no missed field goals, four for five, could have had ten. All right, see if we got any more super yats. Somebody in the YouTube says Embiid is currently doing limited court practices. We don't care. I'm not worried about him. <laughs> All right, halftime. How are we feeling, fellas? Well, I feel really good about their offense. I feel like they can get any shot they want pretty much on the offensive end. I think JB um, JB was getting to all his spots, making all the passes. I think their offense actually is a good matchup against Denver's defense, the way they play. So it's just going to be a matter of if they can slow down a little bit. Jamal at the point of attack, like Jokic is going to get Jokic, going to make Jokic plays, but like I, I, you can't also get killed by Jamal. You got to find a way to kind of turn that, turn that dial off a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I think, um, like you're saying, like they, if when pressure just get into the rim and scoring it will, you know that our offense, we have we have a strategy to beat these guys is just can we keep up with Jokic's brilliance and just not make the mistakes because it feels a lot like um like when teams in football were playing prime Tom Brady you you could not make mistakes to beat them it feels like defensively like you have to make them you can't give Jokic the easy option and that's easier said than done considering Jokic is a hall of famer and he is just as good a passer, if not a better passer, than he is a scorer. So when you're doubling him because you're too small, he's just doing <laughs> Jokic things. But you guys want to guess if without looking, Jokic's little first half line? It's got to be close to a triple double. Like something like he had 16, 9, and 10 in the first half. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. The defense isn't working. <laughs> but I mean, that's Jokic. That is who he is. And it shows you that we need 
Mitchell Robinson back, then okay. Let's see if Brooklyn does us a favor here. It's been a gross stretch of days having to uh, root for the Heat and now the Nets. And the Nets, yeah, it's terrible. It stinks. I was... Hmm. That's the thing with the 2-3 matchup. I'm not scared of any of the teams in the East. Like, I I would certainly pick the Celtics to win. Uh, I'd be worried about them. But this Bucks team, I'm like, so be it. Even even when they do that. Trey bombs? It's not... I don't lose sleep. They could very they should be favored, but I like the Knicks chances. Why is this a game? There's such a weird team, Milwaukee. Yeah, they played down to their competition entirely too much. They almost beat Boston late in a late rally without Giannis. Now they're in a slug fest with, with Brooklyn. That is one hideous oh, looking free throw. Oh my throw. god. That's a Michael Kidd Gilchrist shot. <laughs> Who's teaching him that release point? My god. And why do they still have a job? What if it was Jacques Vaughn? He's a free agent, Claxton, right? Mm-hmm. He'll have some suitors. He will. But I think he's going to top out around closer to like 15 mil. Yeah, I think he'll get around where Hartenstein will get. But I also feel like the Nets will keep him because he has to, like, they have to keep him. If they lose him, then they lose everything. Except for Bridges, who is, like, on fraud alert, apparently. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's not a good defense. Oh, my God. Brickle. Bobby Porter's been on a heater. He's been feeling it in the last few weeks. That's off of Milwaukee. Yep. That was impressive, Jay Crowder. Remember when Crowder held out because he wanted to get paid by the Suns and then got traded to the Bucks and then didn't get paid by the Bucks? Uh, know like your worth, Crowder. folks. Like the meme, who wants me? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a foul. Yeah, it's fine, though, because he's a terrible free throw shooter. I was at that playoff game. Uh, who do they play in the first round? KD was on the team. Wait, you're not talking about the the Celtics, the Nugget. Uh, yeah, it was the Celtics. They, it they was got Celtics. Swept, they got swept by the Celtics last year. Yeah, uh, two yeah two years ago, right? Two years ago. Two years ago. Yeah. Last yeah, year they so, got swept by the um. The so Sixers, I went to Sixers. I went to game one of that series. I think Claxton was zero for seven from the line, if I'm remembering correctly. Now I'm going to look it up to make sure I'm not being crazy. And it was a randomly close game. He hit both of those. Did he? Yeah. Huh. Let's see if my memory is still with us. Oh, sorry. He was four for 22 from the line because they were playing hack of Claxton. That's what I remember. That's a travel. Oh, come on. Sorry. Um, that's that's what he was for the series. He was 4 for 22 for the series. I'm trying to remember which game this was. Yeah, yeah. Kyrie, Kevin Durant. Yeah, he was four for twenty-two in that series from the line, which is very bad. Who's the interim coach in Brooklyn right now? Ollie. Ah, uh, Kevin Ollie. Right, right. Okay. Prince Ali. Which, as a uh, UConn fan, I'm happy about. By the way, because I know he's 
uh, watching this. Sean, uh, how's how's Syracuse doing right now? Are they are they doing well in the in the March Madness? Did you go to UConn, Jeremy? I didn't, but my dad grew up in UConn, so I'm a I'm a Huskies guy. But ah, yeah, I listened to the post game. With Where did Andrew you go to college? Sean. I went to Brandeis. Ah, mm-hmm. but yeah, I heard the UConn disrespect, and uh, <laughs> how you hating from outside the club, Sean? You can't even get in. So yeah, Claxton this year shooting a career high, fifty nine percent from the line. Hell yeah, Noah. Go Career judges. high. Tragic. I don't remember. Kevin Alley got gray just like these 10 games with Brooklyn. I don't remember him being gray. Coach in the <laughs> Nets can do that to you. Yeah. So you Jock Vaughn's, Jock Vaughn's giant beard was getting a little gray too. Mm. I would. Trend. Mine would too if I had to deal with Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving for <laughs> that tenure. And they've left Brooklyn and they've been model citizens in Phoenix and Dallas. It's crazy. That game winner was insane. The Kyrie one. Yeah. yeah I um, he's that's that's just that's what he does, and that's who he is. The guy's a shot maker, supreme. I was at that game. And it was nuts. Which game was this? This is Nuggets versus Mavs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know me. I'm rooting for the Dallas downfall, so. I was rooting for the Nuggets. Good call. He kind of stopped short and let him run into him, which kind of sucks, but I guess it's a foul. They wanted to show that replay because he's like, watch this. Stop. Yeah, dancer, I, I couldn't believe that. Murray took that shot with that much time left either. I shocked. Oh yeah. That was kind of bonkers. I'll actually, I'll talk a little bit about the game on uh, the Monday pod. Cause I got some fun stories from that. How was the, uh, how was the arena? Like, what was it like over there? It was good. I really liked American airlines arena. They want to tear it down. I don't quite get it. I'd say I consider Dallas as a, big market it's not a free agent market but it's a big market and the in-game entertainment was up there like was it well how was the atmosphere great the fans went crazy that was a like mavs fan for life is legitimate i don't like the mavs at all but i really respect they have a real they were yeah i granted look was it a prime time or a nationally broadcast game against the defending championships champion uh, at a team? great yeah. at, a, at a classic game too yeah right it, like it worked but the fans brought it all game i was super That's impressed with pass. that oh come on and a terrible foul by by uh bridges i'm not sure what you think you're gonna stop him without with an arm no jessica i did not get to go to the book depository because i went to the game instead but my plan was to do it so next time i'm in dallas i'll be sure to go Yeah, I don't like these guys. I'm not a fan of them. This team does just doesn't do it for me. These Milwaukee Bucks. The Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, Noah, I did go to Fort Worth. I was actually in for work. I was in Dallas. I was in Fort Worth, and I was uh, at. In Richardson, which is right near Plano, I believe. I went to the rodeo, the stockyards. That was it. Went <laughs> very American. <laughs> How's that arena? Uh, wild. Um, <laughs> when you hear uh, the "God Bless the USA" song, and then you're praying for the rodeo, and then you hear the Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, there was a moment where they had a uh, horseback rider who had a bandana around his face. And I believe they said he's been wearing that since before COVID and that pandemic. And I'm like, all right, time to hit the old dusty trail. (laughs) It's crazy. Some of the things people believe, man. Yeah. 
it's two different countries. I uh, I may or may not have seen a Dallas Maverick at a club. Well, I, I think I yeah, you guys know that. But <laughs> I, I did mention it in the group chat. That was a wild experience. Oh, this game's cooked. You're not going to tell us more about that, Jeremy? No, for the sake of anonymity, I think I will, uh, <laughs> my own. <laughs> I think that's a good call. Yeah. Uh, Sean, All similar right. to how there's uh, there are two Americas there. Ooh, Ooh, not a fraud. There are also two Texases, which is... More of a broad than a fraud. Actually, there are more than two Texases. But definitely, there's Austin, and then there's uh, everywhere else. <laughs> Is everything really bigger in Texas, Jeremy? It's a huge state. I've been to El Paso before, and I believe that the dis the distance from LA to El Paso is around the same as El Paso to Houston. It's mind blowing. Uh, but what? yeah, the the portions massive. I I think I may have gained a few pounds from that trip because of the amount of red meat and just alcohol especially because a lot of it was pleasing the clients. I hit the treadmill as much as I could, which was not nearly enough as I should have. <laughs> I just felt bloated. I have pretty much detoxed since I've come home. Uh, it's the best of my abilities. And I'm back on the road. What was the weather? Work. Sucked. It was cold and rainy. We actually pushed back uh, a show or two because of the weather. Huh. Um, yeah, it was unfortunately not great weather. Whoa. All right. Thank you, GMAC. I couldn't do much more of that bullshit for much longer. <laughs> Imagine 16, doing 82 games nine, to playback for the Nets. No, nah, I couldn't. Sounds, sounds miserable. Good, good thing nobody does. Mm. <laughs> I wonder who does that. Nobody. Nobody does that. <laughs> All right, yeah. fellas, let's let's make this a fun game. You know, like let's keep it let's let, let's keep it close all the way through. Let's go win a ball game. It'll be wild. Pocket. Oh, another wow, drop man. off. Good passing. Pass. Hey, Wasn't not overzealous on that one. Just didn't. No, he's just not having a night. The Knicks should just be like malicious. Uh oh. And switch until Porter Jr. ends up on Brunson and just let Brunson go crazy on him. No, I mean they they were they were they were conceding that switch for a lot of the first half. I would I would think about it. Certainly late, it's a button to push. Pocket. His oh. float game is on fire tonight. We have a new Emmanuel quickly, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> His name is Isaiah Hartenstein. You sure are. It's a good that job, Josh. Difference. Oh, you just imagine OG on Gordon yeah. instead. Oh boy. Uh too easy. It's yeah, it's tough. It's just a tough matchup. I mean, it, look, it's tough <laughs> for anyone. <laughs> for literally anybody. Here we go, Whoa! JB. All right. But but he's a tough is, matchup too. Mm -hmm. The thing is, it's not hard to score. It's hard, to, at least for us. I mean, their defense has been good this year, but like, I don't, I, I see very little resistance. That's it. Good. Tough. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, oh you'll hate to see that. Just knew from the moment he lobbed it. Yep. God. We're too small. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't need that right now. Uh, come on. Oh, not Jokic in transition. What Ooh, a play. Foul. Good foul. Isaiah thinks he got it clean. Isaiah's been so good at limiting his turnovers, even though they've been running stuff through him. That was not that was not the play to make. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> you have two guys. You think about it, like with and they're basically wings with like ideal NBA size in Julius and OG that allow you to basically you're never gonna you're like the Knicks at a, a healthy Knicks team will never feel small ever. Especially if you have Mitch back, you have so you have two seven footers, legit seven footers, who are not really ever going to be too small, and you have OG and Randall who are huge. Okay, and then you and that and that allows you to kind of have like a Brunson Divincenzo backcourt, or you play hard at the two at times, which was really effective in January. It's like unbelievable flexibility you have because you have that size throughout the lineup in your front court. And, and and they're able look like against Golden State, it was not an issue because Golden State's tiny, so right they can match that yeah. and be fine. Against a team like this, very different story. Yeah, this is the one team that you you just size as a requirement to beat them, which is why the Minnesota Timberwolves um, very famously yeah. gave them their toughest matchup in the playoffs last year. Yeah, I, I think you'll feel it against other teams too. I think you'll feel it against Boston. I think you'll feel it against Milwaukee. Like if you, like. There are teams that are big. I mean, you have a Brook Lopez and Giannis front line, and if you're dealing with Josh Hart starting at the four, that's not really going to work, right? Like there are certain teams, but throughout the season, you can get away with it at times. They're going to need to be healthy to make a real run. Obviously. Question for you both: Assuming that the Knicks retain one of their first round picks, how much do you prioritize adding size to the team? Like, is that worth over a smaller player with more skill? Where's your head at? I know a lot of it's personal preference, but just curious. Personally, I think they're at a spot, and I'm curious to hear what you think, Menso. But, like, I, I think they're in a spot with, with enough flexi- roster flexibility that they should just pick the best player. Successful challenge. Nice job. Like, I don't really see a position of need. Like, they can get away with, I don't know. That's what I feel. I feel like they should take the best player, get the best asset that you can mm-hmm. turn into something else at some point. But then what does to. the, like, what does best asset mean to you? Oh, no! Oh, we won that! Work. Right. What is be- you're saying? Some positions might have more value inherently than others. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. But I think ultimately it's hard to project that. Like you just got to take the best, the guy you think will be the best player. I mean, they have to fit your culture and like your, you know. But but that's what I would. That's I think. What do you think, Mensa? Um, I think what we need more than anything else is a bench creator, somebody who can come by, come in, you know not name Jalen Brunson and get some offense for themselves, um, which is why I'm really big on, and speaking of Jalen Brunson, no two baskets, um, just really big on a guy like Devin Carter out of Providence. Um, I feel like this team just needs, the one thing that this, we don't have is instant offense. What are the chances um, that guy's playing next year? Yeah, that's a good point. Small. Right? Yeah. Like, no matter who he is. And just play, yeah, so small BPA. Bridge, just taps. They're so small. We're so <sighs> small, guys. We're too small. <laughs> it's just, it's just yeah. I I honestly think go BPA, um, as long as BPA is in the center. You don't want a center specifically. No. Nah. I so Nemo just talked about this, and I was gonna say like I I would not go back up point guard as well. Like I wouldn't go for, but I, like do you consider Rokas a combo? Is he more of a lead guard? Um, what is the impact of Deuce? Is he here? Lots of factors. You've got to shoot that, you Josh. Need one, Josh. Nope. Not that one. He cannot shoot right now, man. He's gone back into the doldrums. That's unfortunate. Oh, wow. Man. What a pass. Uh oh. All right. It's at six. You gotta gotta stay attached. Yeah, you gotta you gotta get a basket right here. He has 20, 10, and 10. It doesn't feel like he's sweated yet. There we go. Oof. There oh, it is. great. Three screen. A little Gortat screen from Hartenstein. Beautiful. He's getting wherever he wants, Jalen. Wherever he wants. I 
I want to say Hartenstein's doing an admirable job, but I mean, oh, oh, the ball movement is just insane. That's of course he's gonna hit that. That's Prime Spurs deliciousness. (sighs) Special. That was special. They're a special team, man. They're a really special team. Yeah, yeah. These five guys are really special together. There we go. Maybe and not to say that Jokic, what he brings in the passing game is um, uh, something that other teams can easily do because obviously they can't. He is, in my opinion, the greatest passing big man of all time. But like the ability to even do secondary playmaking from the center position is such a crucial aspect. And Whoa. I feel like Dante, relax. Overzealous Dante DiVincenzo. That's a crazy shot. I feel like it took Knicks fans not seeing Mitch every night to fully comprehend that. Yeah. I agree with that. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. Can't keep up. Yeah. You have to hope that the bench can make a little bit of a run and just hang around and try to make a late run. You know, it's that was that was as impressive an offensive run, a five minute run of offense from any team I've seen all year. Just gorgeous offense, shot making, passing. Ridiculous. They have a gear. Like every championship team does. They just have a gear where they can do whatever they want and Turn a game that could have been a game into a 10 point lead. That was very special. You know, all this talk about height, but if you think about it, being in Denver, wouldn't you want smaller players that are traveling as the visiting team because of the altitude? If you're higher up a little bit, is that a competitive disadvantage? I thought I thought you meant more, better conditioned basketball players and you were saying shorter, but <laughs> I don't think that the air is much higher six six inches up <laughs> i don't know the weather up there you guys are taller than i am it's it's probably a little bit colder a little chillier a little thinner i cannot i can neither confirm or deny <laughs> these claims Too easy for the guy on the left. (laughs) I never understood the point of pants that only show your knees. That's what is this guy thinking? Honestly, with the worst Denver jersey of all time, with the five two eight zero and the worst pants of all time, that might just be the worst outfit of all time. Yeah, it's, he's one of the four horsemen of terrible fits. I hope he <laughs> takes that money and buys clothing. That's actually good. <laughs> he, could, he could buy the knees to his pants. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Patchy. <laughs> uh, oh my God, this is just one hell of a highlight package. It's not fun to be on the other side of this, I have to say. But it is fun to watch, nonetheless. Look at look at that. He just stiff arms a guy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's It just angers me. Like, look, what can you do, right? But not seeing like, – I, I so wanted to see this team with OG in Denver tonight. Yes, I know. I know. I feel that. It's uh, it's tough. He's the key. Hey, you got a foul. Yeah, honestly, the Denver Nuggets against OG and Anobi, 
Oh, Jan and Obi, the king of the plus minus. I would have loved to see it. Because you, could, also, you could do so many things. You could throw OG on Murray to slow him down. You could throw OG on Jokic and have Hartenstein guard Gordon. So now Hartenstein's roaming around a little more to disrupt things. It just He's the key to everything. He's the key to the whole. It's amazing. Yeah, we just I just need him healthy. Get healthy, get paid, stay healthy, please. And I know I know a lot of his injuries are like not they don't say that this guy is injury prone, more like a Mitchell Robinson where it's a foot, it's an ankle, it's a this, it's a that. It's always something like obscure, like an random. elbow. Yeah, but, random injuries. He had an eye thing in, in Toronto. He did yeah. The Toronto guys all say he gets the weirdest injuries. Jesus, they're just like they're it's like Harlem Globetrotters mm-hmm. out here, man. Travel. You got away with like three of them in the first half. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> he was complaining constantly in that Mavs game. You could hear him just you gotta see he just gotta gapping hit. all the time. Mr. Really? Fino. MPJ specifically? Yeah, he talked a lot. I feel like but only just... on the court, not not like tough shot. Yeah, we got to get back, Jalen. Too small. It's good transition defense until now. Oh, they're letting Jokic go at it. Yeah, against Hartenstein. Hartenstein is not getting the same courtesy. You got to keep it within striking distance, and then hope that when you can make a run with our with our Pistons boys when uh. When Jokic and Jokic big money A B, you gotta keep it right here. Can't get like the fifteen here. You gotta keep it close and then hope to make a run. But the, I think you gotta probably send a double, guys. Oh, he missed. You know what? Chua one on one hasn't been bad. He's. I think he's made a miss three times. Is that play where they got Jalen coming around? Give it to him. That's it. <laughs> Mm. Nope. Ah, oh, it's got to be Ooh. a foul. Okay. No foul. Okay, keep going. That's Ooh. the Josh Hart school. Oh, all right. But he gets fouled. Okay. Whoa! Let's go, baby. Shut up. We could use some ref. We could use some ref. That's not a foul, and I don't know if that's a foul. Couldn't see from that angle. Good boy. Been solid tonight. He hasn't done. He hasn't really disrupted Murray at all. Tough game to follow <laughs> for him. Yeah, I mean, the thing with Deuce is, like, I, I do, you know, he's he's really good. Like, what he did to Curry I thought was really impressive. Or you have on a guy like De'Aaron Fox. Jamal's a little big and a little physical for him. I think you saw that at times tonight. That's a good job by Josh helping off of the right guy. But, wow, nice. look okay. at this. All right, let's okay. get back to five, boys. Look at this. Good D. Great screen. Oh, Good pass. One more. Uh, uh, that was damn. So dirty. He's a bucket. Go. Got numbers. Just shooting. Yeah. Need it, Dante. Cool, Bad boy. Good Big job. Big shot. Way to push. Yeah, I was saying earlier. Um. Just having the, the the Villanova guys, it gives you a rare level of continuity that you don't really see um, in the NBA outside of your championship teams that have been building for years, like the Denver Nuggets. Like watching, just watching them play, it's like wow, they they're really in sync, and that that takes years. Hundred percent. It's not like there was a you know you felt like you oh my it's a tough shot Jalen. <sighs> And I don't like how he's following those. You, he's forced. You, you put your, yeah. That's like an overzealous Dante. 
Yeah, you follow uh, those. You follow and miss on those offensive rebounds. You're, you're killing yourselves against Denver. Mm-hmm. You can't do it. You got to be more disciplined than that. Especially when the air is this thin. <laughs> yeah, don't, for real. don't make it harder on yourself than it needs to be. Like how many off? How many offensive rebounds are you going to get following your shot? You're Jalen Brunson. Good call. Like the way that like Grimes, for example, like couldn't get into any offensive flow with that starting lineup. And then you bring in DiVincenzo and even though he's playing the same position and theoretically in the same exact role, his familiarity with Brunson, I feel like, um, and the trust Brunson had in him just like allowed him to excel in a way that Grimes could not. And that's just like, to your point, like some of the, some of that is continuity. It's like they know, they just know where to be. He knows how to cut off of JB. JB knows how to use it. Like it's just very familiar. Yeah, and it just it you really can't quantify it, but when you're watching it, you know it, it makes mm-hmm. a huge difference. Totally. All right, Josh is gonna have to take his jumper. What in the fudging god's name? Come on, guys. Stay with it. Only down eight. This is, this is still anybody's game. Oh, man, Jericho's coming back. Oh, <laughs> Never mind. Not everybody. Not anybody's game. <laughs> On second thought. Yeah. Oh, easy bucket. Oh, oh. made it hard. Deuce nah, that was, was cool. Not, Deuce was not expecting that screen reject. Got left in the dust. Just miss one for us, Reg. Hmm. Is Randall one of them? I think I think Julius Randall's a great guy. Richardson. Julius did mm. it three times. Mello led them in assists. And rebounds? No, like I mean, he didn't have a point guard that year, probably. Right. I was going to say Michael Ray Richardson, maybe, but I guess not. Again, the, like the, argument, three times. The, the, the argument for Julius versus Carmelo, ten, Nick's tenure, is uh, it's closer than people want to think, probably. So interesting. Who, what? Like this? <laughs> it was so random. <laughs> okay, Presh. <laughs> Random deuce thing. It's very rare that a righty prefers to pivot with his left foot, but deuce does. Hmm. I wonder if he's ambidextrous. Good board, Presh. They're hanging in. Somehow, some way. Shoot it again. Please. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I, can't, Lord. I can't, guys. I can't. I can't. Why? I can't watch this. Forty-four and forty-five, please. How many of those bad turnovers has he had since he's come here? It feels like he has two a game. Yeah. And like I know he's not this bad. Oh boy, these two guys, man. Man, it's just the Pistons in them. Oh, this hell no. Fresh <laughs> is about to get defensive three. Defensive three, yeah. Saw that coming. We do need Boyan to play better so that we can move him. <laughs> Dude, we, that we, that we his, need that. that turnover is was such a backbreaker. Like he did, he had bad timing. To be clear, I think that Boyan's getting moved regardless this summer. It's just he's an easier player to move than Fournier because that Fournier contract another year, I just don't think any team would have bit 
not saying Bogdanovich will get you anything premium without other pieces, but. Yeah, we'll give that one up all day. All right, keep it within 10, make a shot, get a stop. What? That what was. The f- Can't even get a two for one. You just jack up a bad shot. Well, okay. I'm just not going to acknowledge that. All right. Down 10. Maga Porter Jr. <laughs> Dude. I think they broke Benji. They just came in the game and like torpedoed the whole effort in three minutes. Like impressively horrendous play. They went full Jordan Poole. Bogey turnover, Burks turnover, and awful shot. Mm-hmm. Like what? This is what five at half, right? Yeah. Seven point disadvantage. I'm trying so hard to be patient. 50 cents DJ. Oh, they're down horrendously with celebrities. <laughs> like he's not even like for real a celebrity <laughs> in the black community. I'm not going to lie to you. So I, I don't, Can I ask you a question? They're really reaching. I, I've, I, I, since I saw the, uh, the action Bro- uh, Bronson uh, interview on the roommates podcast, I barely heard of the guy. Now I'm not like a big rap person. Like I like some of it. Like, do people like him? Is he super popular? Like, wh- like what's his deal? Bronson, about him. Bronson is like niche hip hop, and he's really he's a really talented rapper. But what he's really more known for, like Dirty Dancer, is saying is his food show. Mm-hmm. Um, what a yeah, random nah, combination. He's not food and rap. Yeah, his his yeah. show is good. His, like, I very much like what he does. Um, Benji, if you want to laugh, there's a Twitter account that's great, and it's called Accidental Brunson. Yeah, I know they read they read they read some of the things out loud on the interview. Yeah. It was very funny. Yeah, yeah. He seems like a very uh, great. He seems like a great personality. Like I want to hang out with him. He seems like a cool guy. But I mm-hmm. and then I, I listened to some of his. He's, he's very talented. You can tell right away. Like he's 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 got he's good, yeah. No, he's actually no. Like definitely. when was he? Like was he? Is he big? Was he big? Was like what was the prime? Never big. He was never big, but um, he's a local. He yeah, like a lot of guys from New York who like listen okay. to to hip hop who don't like champion. Like there there are people who like listen. Like if you like Action Bronson, you might as well just go back and listen to like Jada Kiss and the Wu Tang Clan and Ghostface Killer. But people who wanted to hear something new, so he doesn't have the the biggest fan base, but he has a lot of appreciation, is what I would say. Okay, cool. he's Queens. Yeah, he's from Queens. Yeah. Need that miss. You got to make a little bit of a push before Yoke comes back in, guys. Got to find a way. Probably got to bring Brunson in pretty quick, too, if you want a chance in this game. They need to let the deuce get loose. You mean the Burks? One-on-one. Well, that's good. good look there. Oh, two consecutive <laughs> terrible shots. What in the... F- Dude, that's not even close. I don't know what happened to Alex Burks, but that's Lance Thomas out there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened. Oh, oh my goodness. That's disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> One more. One more. <laughs> nice. Now what? No. 
Make it. Bang! No. <laughs> oh, it's forgiven. He's made no. some shots tonight. Definitely, definitely not all. <laughs> yeah, he's hitting shots. He's absolutely hitting shots. But wow. That's game. Those last like the, the last like four shot attempts before that were that was game one first else. right there. Get out of here, Justin Holiday. Your prime was in 2012. <laughs> I watched you on a bad Knicks team not really help. Dude, he is he is getting them up. That is one thing. <laughs> He's working on his um his agent advised him to get as many shots up. One of those decades is pretty good. The other, <laughs> we don't have to talk about it. Yep. Fella. All right. This is apparently a super chat contribution that we'll get to. Andrew, is it? Is it who we think it is? Or is it yes, someone it different? Yes, it is. Oh, my God. God, why does he keep missing free throws? <laughs> oh no, I don't like that. <laughs> don't like For that the one yes. and only Robert W. Cross, <laughs> Bogey and that. Burks are clingers on a toilet bowl. <laughs> that is just right. wonderful stuff. Folks, do you see? Give me that. Here we go. Guys, he doesn't miss. After From clingers on the toilet clingers, bowls to deuce. The one and only <laughs> yeah, right. deuce. I freaking love, I love this guy. All right. This is a good start to the. Padawan deuce. Padawan deuce has never missed a three. I got Miles McBride. Deuce, man. I'm sure he would rip up that contract. I did see a tweet. I was like, he's worth four times as much as that. No. And I was like, really? You think that, that Deuce is worth $17 million a year based on that contract? No. Uh, I think that or at least it was something like that where it was like a lot of money. I'm like when, when Dante's making 12? Yeah. No. But yeah. Like we're talking about IQ's floor was around there when he was with the Knicks. I, yeah. I think if Deuce hit the open market right now. He'd be able to get three for 27. I was going to say somewhere in like the, the $30 million range, maybe like 30 to 32, depending on a team that like I could see Detroit, for example, um, or even San Antonio a team that has money to spend and would be willing to Chicago but bulls. We don't have to worry about that. Taking a fit for him. You know, um, I think Deuce McBride would fit really well um, in Minnesota with Anthony Edwards. And that's a team that just re-upped. Michael Conley. Conley, but that's a team that could use him. A team like New Orleans that has a lot of ball handling on the wings with Zion and Brandon Ingram, they could use him as an eventual McCollum replacement. Um, he has a lot of a lot of utility just because he hits shots and he plays defense, um, especially in a league where you have guys that are really really ball dominant on the wing. Now he doesn't need to be a point guard; he just needs to go out there and be Derek Fisher. Yeah. Noah's saying Jock Landell got four for 32, but the only, the thing about that is Landell's contract was only guaranteed in year one. Every year after that is fully non-guaranteed. So it's really just like one year, $8 million and you can always leverage his money in a trade. And then the other team can non-guarantee him the following season. Do say, you know, yeah, I think you sorry, get at least, I just talking, think Deuce, Gary. like you get $10 million for that player. Um, and I think with Dante, he definitely took what seemed like a small pay cut, but yeah, I think 10 million a year for Deuce. That's valid. Um, I remember when he signed that deal out of the kind of nowhere, Jeremy, I texted you right away or DM'd you right away. I was like, is that, is that like, cause they want him or is that like an asset thing? Where, like, the answer you, to that, to that and is and you yes. Were, <laughs> you were, you were pretty clear that it was more the latter than the former in some way. Um, but Just I saying. wonder. I wonder if the calculus has changed with the way he's played. I don't know. Maybe well, 
the other thing to be said is if he has played this well, has he leveraged himself as an even greater asset, yeah. which would then go into a trade. The all I'm saying is when you Good like defense. it's very convenient to ensure that no, you don't foul there. <laughs> Sorry, finish. No, it's fine. <laughs> it's very convenient that he signed the same day that uh, if he had signed a day later, then it would have been six months extent like six month uh trade restriction which would have bled into july 1st whereas yeah. like you're probably not going to do it right you know i'm gonna do a reset andrew because i've never done one before all right friends and family <laughs> we're at 9 33 left in the fourth quarter it's 89 83 denver nuggets we got peyton watson at the line for one more free throw Knicks have played a good game. They've made a little bit of a mini run here with Jokic off the floor. Got to stay attached. All right, down seven. Deuce McBride with the ball. The one player on court that I have supreme <laughs> faith in. <laughs> yeah, oh my God. Other than Jericho. Oh, just Chuck. Oh, this man uh. won't stop shooting. Can't stop, won't stop. Off balance jumpers all night. You know, I want to say like he has the green light, but it's more like he's just running through stop signs. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have the green light, bro. Everybody <laughs> wants you to stop, and you're like, no, nope, not today. Ah, that's terrific. <laughs> oh, man. Oof. That's good board. Good hands. That's, yeah. All right, Deuce, please do something. <laughs> don't give the ball to Burks. <laughs> oh. Uh, what? Ah! Oh, I, whoa. <laughs> okay. He Four point made, game. He only see the shooting the talent. 38 footers. Because he made one of those against uh, Golden State, too. He makes the ones that are, that if he doesn't miss, he, he makes the rent do shots, is what I will say. Let's go. Make your run. Okay. Meanwhile. Oh, Jokic, there it is. He's coming back. Precious <laughs> is very open. For a reason. <laughs> <laughs> Down two, baby. This bench unit is gold. I just want to thank thank Michael Malone and Co for bringing in DeAndre Jordan into this game. We appreciate it. Thank yes, you. We absolutely appreciate. Oh man, <laughs> you know what DeAndre Jordan looks like when he's on that rotation. There, he looks like a guy who was on his phone and then his manager walked by, and he's like, "Oh wait, I have to look like I'm busy." Like, yeah, that's that's not defense, bro. Also, got I have to every chance I get, I got to give Tom Thibodeau his flowers because we should not be in this game. Last game of a road trip at Denver. They're healthy. We're not. This team refuses to pack it in. They just keep fighting. This is why I always struggle with prospects and the draft and even to an extent free agency but there's at least more of a track record it's like we there's so little we know about character and motivation and determination and it's just so hard to measure it like deuce mcbride picked 36th and yeah. just consistent fighter we would not have necessarily been able to piece that together as fans removed from the process we're yeah, never going to operate with a full deck but that's even harder to do and he was projected to go maybe at half that maybe in like the 18 range and he falls all the way to 36 to mm -hmm. the new york knicks and i go back and forth with myself like like what's the percentage chance that deuce mcbride's a better basketball player than quentin grimes like it's like it's it, it <laughs> yeah it did it, is it 35 is it 45 like it's way higher than i would have expected starting the season and the guy's just he's really shown me so much he's put himself very squarely as what the i want to say the but the eighth yeah because behind mitch and um and hart he's the eighth man 
like that's huge for him. This guy was like maybe the 13th, 14th man on the mm-hmm. team. And as and the team is better today than it was at the start of the season. I think that's inarguable. And Deuce McBride just develops in, in silence and comes in a game and just hits shots and plays great defense. I mean, there's there's so much you can say about Deuce McBride. And and he is it's like you don't think Tom Thibodeau's developing guys look no further than, than Deuce McBride. Three I fully agree. I fully agree. And the but the prevailing thought as well is like we've noticed a lot of Knicks players, for the most part, don't do as well after they're on the Knicks. We obviously wow. we obviously can't see that with Deuce, but Deuce is in the optimal role, and it seems like Grimes is now less so in yeah. that position. So it's almost like you have to move Deuce to another team to evaluate their oh come on. That 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 it's- that's they, called, a kick. they did call it a kick because because Boogie just threw it his leg. We're very lucky. Every live dribble pass this guy makes has like a sixty-seven percent chance of turning. Uh, that was not. I thought he just hit him in the leg. Not a not a kick. Terrible. I'll take it. But I'll I'll take it. I'd also take Boogie off the floor. Astute observation. Yeah, we haven't seen a lot of Josh Hart, huh? I'm just proud we got Jokic back in at eight minutes. I thought that was an accomplishment. Fair enough. It's uh, this is the Nuggets ball, isn't it? Yeah, it's the right call. Oh, they turned it over. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Horrible turnover. Awful. Horrific. See, now my thought process here is if you're Tibbs and you see Jokic coming back in and then they call the timeout and you know he's going to come back in, why not get that extra minute of Brunson? If you're already matching talent in some capacity, not matchups, but like... Yikes. Yeah, I, it just uh, felt like we burned four points I, there. Right. I, they're asking a lot of Jalen Brunson, <laughs> so like yeah, I, I, I like, struggle to like get too upset. Like I don't know if he can go if Brunson can play like a, a thirty-five usage for an eight and a half minute stretch. It's hard. Like, does he have anything left down the stretch? You know. I know you're trying to earn point your earn minutes somewhere, but it yeah. just feels it just feels like. You match up earlier with talent. Wouldn't you keep that same energy if that's your whole? Oh, oh. you got to get that ball, Deuce. Jesus, man, he's killed us. The difference between uh, <laughs> Jokic and DeAndre Jordan is, uh, to say the least, a little decent. The distance between Jokic and DeAndre Jordan is about the same as the distance between um, El Paso and where was it? Dallas, you said? Or Houston, I think it was. In Houston? Yeah. yeah. A lot of distance. He's been right. excellent tonight, man. That's seven straight points. No, Jeremy, it's a fair point. It's a fair point that that maybe I mean I don't know if it changes anything, but maybe not getting Brunson in. But yeah, you you needed you need your guy when their guy comes in. You need okay. this, Alec Burks. Uh go up with it. Go through him. Oh, I mean, I this this is a Denver Nuggets team that went sixteen and four in the playoffs last year, and they're home, and we mm-hmm. punched them. The first time, so there's a little extra motivation. I'm not gonna wave the um the Isaiah Hartenstein pom poms too hard, but 
very obvious who the starter should be. Wave him. You jinxed his butt. <laughs> Me either, Dirty Dancer. A lot of people seem to think that Mitchell Robinson um, is a far superior defender. Whoa! Here we go. Yikes! Holy cow, that was interesting. Oh, he's hurt. Deuce. Murray's really hurt. All right. Are you hitting the nuts? That's a huge shot. He seems to be okay, yeah. He's just shaking up a little bit. Down five, six well, minutes left in the game. He got need in the thigh, which hurts. Big money AB giving us a big money game. Straight into the post. Walk. He traveled. Come on, bro. You can't call a foul there. You cannot call a foul there. Okay. I live with that. That's so did, weak. Did he pull him back? Because it was a travel. I, don't, I didn't see much, but all right. Need that board. Oh, come on. Too small. Yeah, you might have to consider Double. putting. Oh, oh hey. Great defense. What defense? That a boy, Deuce. It's still a game, boys. Oof. Throw him. Oh, wow, I shot. never misses that. That's a good foul. Great foul. It's a great foul. Yeah. I think Jamal Murray did a little, did a little extra judo. Is that, uh, is that a clear path foul? The way you wrapped him up, they might call it. I wish you behind him, reached. isn't he? Yeah. I think they're going to look at that maybe. I don't see a poor junior yeah. scoring matters. They're looking at it. Damn it. I feel I I I don't know, man. I feel like Murray kind of embellished that at the end. Oh, he might have he went for the him. ball and then he pulled look, you see how he grabs his arm and brings him to the ground. It was obviously an intentional foul, but he's going for the ball there. Probably is a clear path though, because he's behind him. But did he or it seemed like it was. I'm just wondering if he was more level after all. But I, yeah. If he wouldn't have like wrapped him, he did sort of wrap him. But I don't know if he was trying to prevent him from falling or what. And he makes a makes a very clear play. He catches up at that does point. He? <sighs> Maybe not. And then Murray does it's, drag him down, which is weird. But it's the other angle that we don't have access to at the moment. Yeah, that was kind of corny from Jamal Murray. I'm sorry. You throw a guy down, then pretend to be tough. It's a basketball game, bro. Look at what he did to Deuce on that charge. Very weird. <laughs> very, very weird. They just call it take foul. Like that whole thing, you take him down, then you stare at him and say something like that's so weird. That was a big play too, because because JB had a pretty wide open floater there that he makes probably eighty percent of the time, and then it goes down the other way, and now you're in trouble of like a two shots in possession situation. Big New York basketball tweeting that Brunson was fouled by KCP on that. I'd want to replay that. I'd say that Burks is outplaying Dante DiVincenzo tonight. So that's probably why we're not seeing, we're not seeing DiVincenzo. Do you disagree, Benji? I mean, he's got – look, Burks he's has been, He's points. making more shots. He's He's shot it well, sort of. But, like, some of the goofiness is just, like, goofy. That's true. 
the end of that third quarter and the beginning of the fourth quarter is still singed into my brain. Like, I don't want people are going to come and tell me that Bogey Burks is plus eight and Bogey's plus seven. Like they played when Jokic saw the floor. Yeah, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't want to hear it. I really right. don't want to hear it. <laughs> like they mostly did their jobs, I guess. I mean, Bogey made one shot. Great. And Burks made five. So that's good. He also took three terrible ones. It's just and had a really stupid turnover. It's a roller coaster, man. Bogey with two bad turnovers. Man, I have not had dinner yet. So can they get this call on the road? Oh no. I don't like how he's looking. But I'm excited for this announcement. Bill. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. That makes sense. I gotta say that I feel like it's an optimal play. Yeah. Optimal. But it all depends. It all depends on uh, <laughs> if the Nuggets make this next basket, then it was. Yeah, no, it's negative. not optimal. I mean, you saved the automatic two points, but Correct. you might give up three or four. Just give up. Save one at least at the moment. Uh, yeah, I, I I just agree that like I you know I don't I forget the exact parameters for these things, but like that was not a play for the ball. It was trying to break up a fast break. Like I, I, it is what it is. Oh come on! I recant. That was a terrible play by Burks. That's crazy. How did he make that? Yeah, he used to laugh. <laughs> well, at least it took Denver three and a half quarters to score a hundred points. Yeah, it's a foul. He's got his hand on him while he's jumping. How he hit that off the top of the glass and in is just insane. I hate this guy. He's so good. <laughs> like what? What do you do with that? I don't know. You lose. And then so when it was they a four-point play, after all. Yeah, when they tried to double him, he right. he was picking him apart. Like it, it's just impossible. It's, you hear this from everyone around the league. It's impossible. Easy doozy. Oh boy. Oh my, this is messy. Look at this guy. He's a new offense. He's an offensive juggernaut. <laughs> really makes you question how the Knicks should build their team going forward, man. Talk to me. I don't know. Like it's just when you have a guy like Isaiah Hartenstein who's playing so well. And he turns 26 in May, I believe. Do you really, yeah. like, how do you improve the team? Do you really, do you still go for the superstar center? Do you, because he's going to be. Well, I think if he, if that guy becomes available, then yes. I mean. The answer is just yes. Hartenstein at 15 million through his prime versus the other guy at 50 million and he yeah, might you, play 50 a game like 50 games a season there are only like five of those guys you get what you pay for with the talent and i just I, and as much and honestly i'm hesitant too because i'm not sure that guy's ever going to be fully healthy for a Same. playoff run but you know if he does come available like you just do what you got to do sadly sort of i, I don't know <laughs> reluctantly man. i don't know <laughs> well, i i think hard i to me, Hartenstein has made it a conversation. Not yes. who's the better. Oh, you fumbled Good it. Close out. And you blew it. It's a great defensive play by Murray. Honestly, right. great defensive play. But also get him out of the game. At what point? Yeah. At what point do you get DiVincenzo <laughs> back in? DiVincenzo usually only checks in with about four and a half. This is like a okay. normal substitute. So this is probably. Play. I think he went out. It's been bogey of late that stayed in a little longer or deuce at times. But usually this is when Devo checks back in. Oh, there he is. Now I hear you, Mensa. It's and there's something to be said of you're paying Hartenstein. Do you do you have both him and Mitch to oh, coexist great. for a whole season if Hartenstein is starting? Oh man. I don't think so. I also don't. That's a huge play. Damn. Josh Hart has not had a good offensive game. <laughs> does he have a does he have he has two points, Josh Hart, or something like that? 
It's bad. He's also hardly played, it feels like. <sighs> what a finish. Hanging in, guys. Just hanging in. They just they just got to get a string a couple stops together somehow, some way. Hard has two what? Fouls or points? Points. Points, yeah. It's been, Yikes. It hasn't been much of an offensive performance. Yeah, he was neutralized by the size tonight. You thinking uh, C plus, Benji? Oh, uh, yeah, that sounds close to right. It's not a C. Is C plus a thing? I can't remember. Oh, how did he miss that one? Wow. Yeah, yeah, only two know, around. Yeah. Only has two rebounds. He just hasn't been very impactful because, again, size. Size. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah, he gets a lot of rebounds, but then he goes and gets to guard Aaron Gordon. Yeah, XJ, this is what we were talking about if you get a, a hold of a clip of this thing. But Josh Hart, excellent rebounder, but when you put him up against talented size, two boards. Yeah, with all the greatness from Josh Hart over this stretch, and he's been – you can't ask for anything more of a guy. I still feel pretty strongly that him at his – like the best utilization for him on this team is like 20 to 25 minutes. Mm-hmm. With certain matchups maybe more, but like that's – he he's – he's you can't – it's hard to have a wing liability, offensive liability, play thirty-five minutes a game on a really yeah. successful team. You don't really see that around. Man, I lost my mind at that game. That was such a fun game. We when beat, he dove, when he dove for the ball, we got three straight against Denver, don't we? Yes. Yep. Two and zero last year. One and zero. Might be a split, but I'd say three and one. In the last four against uh, what could be the two-time defending NBA champ is things are changing. Nothing things to, are changing around these parts. At. For a team that hadn't won in Denver since the Bush administration, things are starting to change. Mm-hmm. No doubt. What happened here? When, why is Deuce on him? What? What? Oh uh, no! Did the Knicks just go zone out of a inbounds? Yeah, that, that was wasn't good. Very odd. I, that looked like they went zone. And it didn't work. Hey. All right, we're getting close here to must makes. That's not a make. All right, there's a the game. Close. They fought. They fought really hard. That's a good job by Hart. Clear path. <laughs> Brunson has to have been working on his passing. Because he's just diamond shit up these days. It's crazy. <laughs> he had a really great passing game. He had a really great game. Look at this. Spun that a little bit. Eh, That should be a clear path. Why not? I'll tell you why not. Because I'm hungry and I'm tired and I (laughs) want this game to be over. (laughs) I'm right there with you. Is it because he didn't have the ball? Can it not be a clear path if he doesn't have the ball? Wouldn't that be a take foul then? Yeah, I I don't know. I'm curious why they wouldn't. Wow! Bank is open this late. Guy's got a Weeble account. He's got 20 tonight, boys. First of his career. Unreal. That's really cool. 20 and 8. Wow. Oh. That's they it. Can't get, they can't get a rebound. Final nail. <laughs> Sean, just cover the eight and a half spread. I'm rooting for you, Sean. Uh, the Knicks I, are not. 
that does not help you, Sean. Did I just hear Bing Bong? Oh my god. Teams really love beating the Knicks. Well, it makes them it's, feel special. It does. It really does. Just goes to show that culture starts in the Ah, city. what a pass. And the okay. All right, time to empty the bench. All right, well, I certainly hope that the Knicks get two of their three injured players back on Saturday. I'd love all three, but I'm not expecting Randall to come back. I feel like that's a, kind of the, Man, the ideal know. Mitch game to come back for, right? I, 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 yeah, I almost kind of feel like OG's going to sit out against these bad teams um, and hope they can just win without him and then come back. What they have, they have. Well, they have Brooklyn, Detroit. Oh, he's hurt again. Well, nope, short. He should have been out of the game. Why does Malone have him in the game? Yeah, if this we... were, <laughs> if if uh, this were Tibbs, he he would yeah, not be alive by the time the roasted final for this, right? Yeah. Why is he in Especially the game? Especially with all the lower leg injuries. Oh, that was a screen. I'm so well, I felt like a moving one, but just um uh, to piggyback off Benji's point, we really should not see Isaiah Hartenstein again until OG March thirty. Yeah, we shouldn't see OG until um, March thirty first. Yeah, it's right. It's, Thunder it's, game. It's, 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 yeah. it's, I mean, this is a crazy stretch. They have Nets, Pistons, Raptors, Spurs. Wait, Mensa, do you want – or Andrew's saying Easter. Uh, is that because he rises again or – A little bit of both. Yeah. A little for the, um, the poetic justice and then also because we don't need him against those teams. We shouldn't – well, maybe – look, we might need him against Wemby. Webby's been up. going crazy. No, yeah, just get. I, I'd say get him a, a little bit more acclimated because it. I also was trying to figure out: is he was he hurting? Uh, we heard the yelp, obviously, um, but was he hurting for those games, or was he just rusty and trying to knock the rust off? Because if it was rust, then I would like him ideally to come back a little bit before then. Yeah, I mean, Bondi was saying that uh, Ananobi is just one of those guys who doesn't play well. Um, with pain, according to his Toronto sources, but of course they're going to say that about him now that he's yeah. not there. But I mean, it is it's something the Bears watching. But I, when I watch him play, I don't think he doesn't look soft at all. He looks obviously like OG and Anobi. Mm-hmm. But yeah, give him the rest. We don't need him until the thirty first against Oklahoma City. Okay, one thing about NBA games that I hate the last two minutes. Mm-hmm. Is JB still in this and, game? Yep, they all are. I would have taken all. Now, <laughs> They're from the same coaching tree, these two. Yep. But Tibbs, <laughs> Tibbs, it feels like, did the Nuggets a solid by calling that timeout because he didn't oh. want to. It was like a gamesmanship thing. We're down not wanting to, 12. Stop. We're down 12. Deuce McBride with a casual 45 minutes. All right. Let's see some Diakite minutes. Seconds. Diakite seconds. Uh, Good point. Hartenstein in 26 minutes, two blocks and a steal. Fouls out of the game, but. 
he's really going to keep them in for the final buzzer. I mean, they'll just hold the ball at this point, but yeah, it is what it is. All right. No. Sorry, Sean. That wouldn't no! have done it. But... Okay. Um, all right, friends. The Knicks get beaten by the Denver Nuggets. 113 to 100. Good effort, I think, boys, right? Would you all say? Good effort. Mm -hmm. Not enough size, not enough talent right now, but we're missing our important guys. Any final thoughts from the two of you gentlemen? Mensa? Startenstein is in full effect. Um, yes. 26 minutes, 20 points, eight rebounds, three assists, two blocks, and one steal. Shot out of the game, but, I mean, what did you expect? He was playing against Isaiah Hartenstein tonight on a team that was really, really undersized and undermanned. So, you know, this is the, the fourth game of a road trip. It's interesting because we were their schedule loss and they were our schedule loss. Not that, and that's not to say that maybe we would have, we we probably would have struggled with them if we were fully healthy because they're the Denver Nuggets. But hey, I'm proud of the effort these guys made tonight, and just hoping that you know we get we get a win on Saturday. Well said. No shame in this one. Just ran out of steam at a certain point. Clearly, there's a gap in talent, but not a gap in effort. Got to win the easy ones that are coming up. Knicks are now in fifth place in the Eastern Conference. I believe that they can get back up to fourth, even third, maybe even second over the next couple of weeks. But all starts with this, these next uh, bit of a cakewalk for these games. So thank you all. Appreciate you joining us as always uh, for the three of us, Benji, Mensa, myself, and